Holy shit, that woke me up. Hey, check out what I got here. See those turnips? They're getting really big. Been watering these every day. Check them out. Leaves. They're getting really big leaves. Soon their root is going to be big too. They have their root underneath these leaves. These these leaves here, the the the, the turnip leaves, they're they're actually really good for the health because they they have a lot of um, vitamins. They prevent a lot of diseases and stuff. They're really good. Uh, you can make soups with them. You can put them in soup salads, and um, or even in a rice, a bit of rice. If you make some rice, you can. You can cook them in the rice. It's really good. It, they taste really good, and they're really healthy. So, can you can cook the turnips, and even can cook the leaves too. So yeah, but I, I want to show you guys just a little bit of the work I've been doing here. Also, uh, transplanted transplanted some of the lettuces that I had over there on that side, and uh, some of them survived, but the others are dying because. Well, it was not it was not the best. I didn't I didn't start them the best way there. Uh, I had some problems. They were too too packed together, and also didn't have too much light, so they ended up not getting so strong. Next time, I'm gonna have to put some some other ones. I already have some other ones starting over there in the small in the in the seeding trays. So I'm gonna put some more over here, or maybe I just put the seeds directly on the ground. So you can see here done this gardening places I cleared up the my grandparents uh, uh, they were growing some tomatoes here in the summer so I cleaned up the this bit here that still had some dry tomato trees cleaned it up and I put the lettuces here still haven't done this here this side but I'm gonna do it next week I haven't didn't have time for it I've been busy like you like you saw the other day I, I was busy burning th that stuff over there uh, yeah, but have a lot of space here. Have a lot of space here to to put some more stuff here. I'm gonna put that the turnip the turnip greens in the radish and other stuff. More lettuces. So yeah, and uh, yeah, today also I wanna I thought that might I might uh, explain to you guys how that that uh, stuff over there work the engine that pulls the water from the well and I wanna show you guys also here how this works. Uh, the well works I didn't show you yet the well so big ass well over here Let's see if I don't drop the phone so you can see big ass well over there full of water now it's been a, it's it's a bit rainy it's getting fuller it's getting full so you can see still has a lot of water there and every day when I go watering the, the turnips and the carrots I, I, I take a little bit more to the tank so see here there's the the pipe there, plastic pipe that goes down to extract the water. And here you have the engine. And over there, that's the tank where the water goes after it's extracted. So yeah, so uh, yeah, here this engine, you see, I might explain a little bit how this works in case you don't know how this works, in case you're not familiar with this type of thing. This is an electrical engine. This. It works with electricity you see there there's the cables there's a little switch there like a protection device switch and uh, it feeds electricity to the engine and this engine here basically this is a it's an engine that works with electricity and transforms the electricity into movement through the mean through uh, electromagnetism it has see that that thing over there that's it has a big magnetic coil a, bi a big uh, copper coil inside and uh, that that coil when it's char charged with the electricity it creates well these um, uh, it, there's a rotor inside the, the coil it has magnets and these magnets when when the current reaches the coil 
these magnets will interact the, uh, the the coil will create a magnetic field and this magnetic field will, will interact with the magnets there's the magnets there and these magnets are connected to the to a um, a shaft and when the mag magnetic field created by the coil interacts with the magnets the magnets are are hold on to the shaft the shaft starts moving okay the shaft starts rotating and that's what creates the movement so you have the engine you have the engine there and you have the turbine the engine is coupled to a turbine that's a little turbine over there that's a turbine and the turbine has the shaft in the middle the shaft goes inside the engine and has the the magnets there that interact with the magnetic field produced by the coil and the electricity okay so like there's there's other examples of that like like you have for instance here in this country in portugal the the, most of the electricity we have here is produced by by um, water dams. It's like those places where they where they uh, build a big wall in in a river, and then the water stops there, and ma they make the water pass through some turbines, some big gas turbines, really big, like a lot of meters long. So the water passes through those turbines, and it creates electricity because it's the same it's the same concept over here, but it's an inverse concept, like. The water makes the turbine spin, okay? And the turbine is the turbine is connected to a shaft, and this shaft has magnets on the other end, and these magnets will interact. It's like a dynamo. These magnets interact with a coil. There's a, a dynamo on the other side, a very big uh, copper coil. The magnets will interact with it and create the electricity. They induce electricity into the coil, and then the coil has two terminals where the electricity exits, okay? So here, you have the opposite thing, you already have the electricity on the terminals but you have the opposite circuit, the electricity actually is already there and it goes back to the, to the system, to the, to the coil and it produces uh, motion, that's what we have here, we want here, motion because that's, that's how the water gets sucked from the, from the well, okay? with the motion, the, the, the turbine, when the turbine gains motion it starts spinning really fast and it creates uh, push on one side and pull on the other and this pull is what is going to pull is what pu what pulls the water from the well okay the turbine spins pulls makes pull on one side and push and pushes the what pulls the water from the well and pushes it into the tank okay so and if you want to see that working I'll, I'll show you here how this works see there the switch press the switch And it's already pulling the water and it's already going over there. Okay. It's already pulling from there. It's already pulling from that from this plastic tube here. See there? And it pushes it over here to this tank. Okay. So the tank is getting full and I actually use here a little the tank has a has a big it has a big uh, tap over here that is used to connect these these big uh, hoses to go over there to water that that stuff over there but I've been using this little one this little one that comes over here and sucks the water and goes into this small tank here so I can can water this stuff over here okay so yeah that's it that's how this stuff here works you see, you're just work, working, electricity creating magnet, creates the magnetic field, the magnetic field interacts with the, with the magnets and makes the turbine spin, pull the water and push to the other side. Okay, so, yeah, you can see here, I have watercress here too, there, it's growing well, and this week I just finished seeding here on this other side too that I had I hadn't seeded yet so here there is watercress also too the other side lettuces but I don't think many of them will survive we'll see we'll see the ones that do not survive I'll just I'll just take them out the the the, the waste and uh, I'll put some new ones in their place so and here I actually have some strawberries here that my mother offered me my mom gave me these strawberries to plant here last week so 
put I put them over here next to the lettuces. But I'm not sure they're going to survive too because they were already she bought them in the market, but they were already a bit uh, how do you say uh, uh, limp. They're a bit limp already, so I'm not sure they're they're going to survive. But we'll see too. And uh, yeah, over here, see the biggest biggest turnips here growing really well. Got some big leaves. Check it out. Fucking big leaves over there. Big ass leaves here. See if I can zoom in. Really big stuff. I've been what had a lot of work watering this every day, and now it's raining. It's even better. I don't have work to water. Waters alone. The weather waters for me. So here have the carrots. See, carrots are already. The carrots, the carrot greens are growing a little bit too. See there, that's a carrot. Uh, carrot green and I've been having some work. I have that there, there's a lot of weeds still here But I gotta pull the rest of them. I was pulling the bigger ones on the other rows over there Having work pulling the leaves out. I still have to, to finish that so, But there is growing well the carrot the carrot green there. There's the carrot on the ground yeah. so These here are all carrot rows here These rows here to the other side are all carrot rows You can see here Growing a little bit better. Okay. Here on the side, there's even some lettuces here on the first rows. I don't remember seeding them there, but maybe some seeds were messed up, were, or were mixed. There's some little little lettuces there. That, there is a lettuce. This here is a lettuce too. There's this fucking these fucking cats over there, these tomcats. There's a bunch of them over here on this garden. They they every day they dig holes and they and they mess this shit up and I gotta the other day I, I don't like to hurt them but the other day I threw a rock at one of them. Because they dig holes at night and they mess this shit up. They mess it up every day. A little bit of lettuce is here too. Every day I come here, I, ha I have uh, cat, cat, like footprints on the, on the rows, and they mess this shit up every day. They dig, make big holes. I oh, see there. Fuck that shit up every day. And there I got this, uh, this shit all fucked up. So, yeah, okay. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend.